We decided to participate in this uh, OSIM Foundation Awards primarily because I think it's one of those competitions or awards that is grounded in sustainability. And that's something we felt was very important uh, in today's context. And um, when we submitted the award for the awards, it was in 2017. And I think it was just before the start of construction of this building. We knew this building out of the box thinking, innovative uh, typology, and we wanted to share our thinking and our ideas with a larger audience. We don't think our ideas should be limited to just the use of us. We really think that it should be replicated and scaled because I think it needs to benefit the larger community and the larger cities and even the planet, basically. And that was what we really wanted to do with this award, to get it out there and to be seen by other people. And I think uh, winning that award was, of course, uh, uh, better and uh, it gets the project uh, out there and published. And I think it, now, sitting here, um, people could actually see the building and experience the building in, in, in person. And I think uh, hopefully people will get to know about it. And I'm hoping that this building will be, uh, in some ways, be inspiring to others and that it can be replicated and scaled up. Dhaka is a very dense city and a very populous city. There is very clearly a lack of structure and a lack of public and social spaces, but it's a city that has grown organically. And I think that's also the interesting uh, flavour and texture for an architect. Prague University is a very large facility and a major institution in Dhaka. Wherever we're going to put this building, it will have impact on the neighbourhood and the district. We just felt it was very necessary to involve the uh, community as part of the development and how this development can have social and architectural even uh, impact on this place, but for a positive change. It's the combination of the horizontal breezeways that allow the funnels to win in and with the landscaping at the two ends that are exposed to the exterior so that they can thrive and grow. And plants do evaporate transpiration and that creates a cooling, further cooling effect with it. And I think with this combination of elevated wind speed and the cooling aspect, um, this is what we call uh, breeding architecture. The term sticky campus uh, refer to how desirable the uh, campus is for students to the point where they want to hang around longer to having a group of people sitting on the supposedly cricket field just lying on it enjoying the sun sometimes I see on Instagram the kids were doing that it's for me very much sustainability it's, it's, it's equity we give to people and um, that they actually space uh, nature, being on the planet, belongs to them. Fifteen years since uh, we conceptualised this design and talked to Sir Abed about it and with the university, to feel the excitement of seeing people using the space as it was intended was really, really rewarding. <laughs>